six o'clock. So actually six oh one. So we will go ahead and kind of get rolling. Um, there is a ton of people on here that I have never seen before, um, which is awesome. So kind of the way this is going to work is we've got a lot of juniors who this is early, early in their college search. We've got some seniors who have not made decisions yet. And then we have some seniors uh, that have already paid deposits. Uh, and we've got some parents I see kind of floating around in the background. Um, so kind of for all of the newbies who've never been on these before, typically what we're gonna do with this is we had a lot of people that submitted some questions ahead of time and we're gonna run through some of those as the coaches. So I'm Coach Cooper and Coach Joe is on here. He's actually right next to me on my Zoom screen. I don't know where he is with everybody else. Um, but we'll go through and kind of give a brief, this is who we are, um, answer as many of those questions as we could. Um, and then Coach Joe and I are going to sign off and then we'll let you all talk to the current students that we have on the team. Um, so that way they'll be able to ask, answer a lot of your questions, what it's like to be a student, what it's like to be an athlete, um, what it's like to be at Sewanee, um, and what it's like to deal with us as coaches. So, you know, that's kind of going to be the uh, short and sweet of what you're going to hear from us, for the most part, is going to be probably the first 10 minutes. Um, and then after that, We'll let the students take over. Probably they'll break up into a couple of different breakout rooms, you know, maybe a distance one, maybe a cross uh, track one, who knows, um, but we'll leave that up to them. Rob Moore, are you a Zoom pro? Um, maybe I could probably figure it out. Uh, okay. But also I have to leave kind of early, so I don't know. Okay. I don't know, like I, I, I don't know, like if you give me host privileges, maybe I can do the breakout rooms, I don't know. Well, that's, well, if you're going to leave early, then I will pass on the privilege Make to Patrick someone else. Make Patrick do it. <laughs> so, um, but as I'm kind of fumbling through that, we'll kind of get started with a few of the questions. Um, so really kind of the short and the sweet to start off with. Uh, my name is Coach Cooper, um, Bill Cooper. I am in my second year here at Sewanee. Uh, it's, I've been doing this for over 20 years, um, all at schools that are like this, all at division three, private liberal arts institutions. Um, I came to Sewanee because I used to actually work camps here, fell in love with the school. Um, I, I've always looked at schools that have really strong academics, um, have really strong tradition, have really strong, um, facility, I mean, when you look at facilities, it's kind of the whole package. Uh, we've got great facilities, we've got a great education. I think we've got an absolutely stunning location. Uh, the campus is 13,000 acres large. Um, so it's the second largest campus in the United States. Um, but to get back to, I used to work cross country camps here. And for three or four summers, I spent a couple of weeks over the summer here, got a chance to meet some of the former student athletes that were on the cross country team. Um, that were serving as kind of camp counselors and got a chance to really talk to them and get to know them as students. And for me, the thing that really struck me was how serious they were about their academics and how serious they were about their athletics. Um, and, and for me, that is what Division Three is all about. Um, as a Division Three school, we don't offer athletic scholarships. Um, we offer you scholarships based off of how smart you are and how much you use that brain of yours. Um, so really good GPA, really good student athletes uh, is really kind of what we look at to begin with. Um, you have to be able to come into a school like Sewanee and be able to handle the education. Uh, and, and that is of the utmost importance for me is you're here for four years. We want you to make the most of your four years. And then once you graduate, you're gonna be able to go on and be prepared to be successful in whatever it is that you decide you're gonna get into. Um, being that we're a small private school, um, tuition, is the same. Somebody asked about out-of-state versus in-state tuition. Uh, the, the number that you see on our website, for the parents that may have looked already, it is a scary number. Um, but, you know, with that being said, based off of your GPA, you're going to get a 
pretty good financial aid package. It's going to make it relatively competitive to some of the other schools that may look cheaper. Um, so do well in school, you get better financial aid packages. Um, trying to run through some of the other questions real quick. Um, for us, being Division Three, not having athletic scholarships, um, academics and athletics, I think the way we run our program is we run hand in hand with each other. Uh, Coach Joe and I will sit down all the time and kind of look at everybody's academic schedules. Uh, we'll base our practices around those schedules as much as we can. Uh, you'll never hear us tell you you can't do something while you're here. Um, whether that's you want to study abroad, whether that's you have a lab that's going to go until five o'clock and we start practice at 4.30. Um, our, our students that are on our team are involved in a lot of different things on campus. Uh, and, and we try to make sure that at the end of the four years, they can't really look at us and say, you know, I really wish I would have had an opportunity to do whatever it is um, and, and kind of fill in the blank. Uh, we try to almost, I think, go out of our way to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to try to be involved in as many things as they want while they're here. And we've got students that work in the dining hall, that serve as proctors, that serve as tutors in the writing lab, um, work for the newspaper, uh, serve as tour guides. Um, we, we've got kids that really do just about everything here on campus. Um, Maya's working in the wellness center. Um, so they're, they're kind of all over the map um, with what we do and don't do on campus. Um, I'm trying to hit some of the major points. Joe, feel free to jump in here if there's anything that I don't touch on. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Actually, if you um, wanna go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Coach Joe. Um, I'm the assistant cross country track coach at Sewanee. Uh, this is the middle of my third year. Um, I undergrad at Southwestern University, and then I went to grad school at Cal State Fullerton, got my master's in sports psychology. Um, I was a volunteer coach at Southwestern where I did my undergrad for two years. And then in my time when I was at Cal State Fullerton, I was a graduate assistant for their cross country and track teams. Um, the first time they won the, their conference championship in track. And then, like I said, this is my third year at Sewanee. Um, I think something I can, I, I can talk about real quick that kind of answers uh, a few of the questions is uh, like one of our, like our core uh, like guiding principles almost or like what we want the team to be is kind of like two main things like is a uh, tandem ideas of competitiveness and and fun so like and the exist those two existing at the same time at all times so like yeah we're we're a varsity level sport we oh, we're trying to win races we're trying to run prs we're trying to beat other teams in our like win conference do well regionals um break school records things like that um but we're enjoying the process of getting to that point like where we want it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work every day to get to a point where you can do those things. And we want to enjoy that process. We want to enjoy that hard work uh, with the, in a place that we're ha happy at with people that we're, that we like. And, and those two, if we can get a team that is doing those two things all the time, then um, I think it's going to be a rewarding experience worth your time and effort. And then also we're gonna, we're gonna do very well at meets at conference at regionals and send people to nationals, break school records, get your name on the board and, uh, and win. It's fun to win. And that's, that's kind of the, the middle ground there is it's fun to do well and we want to enjoy working hard so that we can do well. Um, <clears throat> I think, let's see, uh, looking at the questions. Mm. So an average practice week uh, for this is for the distance group um, in cross country and in track, we usually have two workouts a week. One of them is going to be like a threshold tempo type effort. And then another, the other one is going to be a little bit faster, maybe like 5k or 3k pace effort. Um, and then the, we try to have two recovery days in between to really um, make sure that you are recovered and recharged before we get back out there and, and do another hard workout. Uh, we're real big on recovery. So we do a lot of cross training as well. 
Uh, we're usually in the pool every couple of weeks and doing some aqua jogging as a team. That's really fun. We got, we play music, the, the whole team is there. Um, it's a fun, that's a, one of the more fun practices we have. Um, let's see. And, and like the time commitment throughout the different seasons, I think is, it's relatively the same um, it, for the distance group. Uh, it differs for the sprinters in the fall and the spring, obviously, but um, it, it's, our, our practice schedule is, is relatively similar. It just kind of tweaks depending on if we have a meet that week or not. Yeah, so for the most part, from a practice standpoint, we try to keep practices to two, two and a half hours a day, mm -hmm. um, regardless of what season it is. So if it's cross country, if it's track, um, kind of the, the, we try to condense everything so that we're able to do two and a half hours, get in, get out. We're efficient with our time because everybody has so many different things that they're involved in uh, that we really want to make sure that we're not the stressful part of their day where they're worried about everything else that's going on because they're spending too much time at practice. Um, I, and a lot of times there'll be days where we're done in an hour to hour and a half. So it really just depends on kind of what we're doing on any given day. Uh, but really I'd say kind of across the board, Monday through Friday uh, is kind of our practice schedule, whether it's cross country that starts at the beginning of the season or if it's indoor track that kind of starts in the middle of October. Once the season officially starts, we're pretty much going five days a week, Monday through Friday, about two to two and a half hours a day. Um, you know, we'll have occasional Saturday practices. This coming Saturday, we're doing like a virtual track meet um, on Saturday. So that'll give us a chance to do like an inner squad competition with each other. And we're also doing kind of a virtual track meet against other schools that are across the nation. Um, one of the questions that somebody asked is, um, really how does division three, uh, I can't remember exactly how it was worded. What, like the pros and cons? Uh, yep. Pros and cons. So, um, really for me as a division three athlete, I ran division three, played soccer division three. I also, uh, have coached division three for over 20 some years now. Um, the cool thing about track and cross country is we get a chance to compete against anybody. Um, whereas you're not going to see Sewanee's football team playing Alabama's football team, but there is a chance where you're going to see Sewanee's track or cross country team play running against athletes from Alabama or athletes from Florida state or athletes from Vanderbilt. Um, you know, so our sport is one that's a little bit unique in that respect that our focus is on the academics but you're going to have an opportunity to compete at whatever level athletically you want to compete at um, while you're in college. So you really get the best of both worlds, I think, here. Um, we try to pride ourselves on one-on-one -on -one attention uh, from the professors to the students. I'd say it's an 11 to 1 is kind of what the ratio is for the classroom. Um, we try to do that, take that same philosophy into our practices, um, one-on-one -on -one as much as we can. We try to individual all of our different practices and workouts as much as we can. Uh, there's 47 people right now that are on this call. Y'all are coming from different backgrounds. So you guys have, some of you've had great experiences with great coaches that know everything that they're doing. Some of you guys have got stuck with the wrestling coach that doesn't know anything about track and, uh, you know, that makes your practices interesting sometimes. So I think that's one of the things that we try to do really, really well is we set everybody up to be in a position that you're going to be able to succeed um, because of the way that we look at everybody individually. It's not cooker cut, cookie, cookie cutter coaching. I try to say that three times fast. Um, you know, so that's kind of gives you a look into the philosophy a little bit of who we are. Uh, everybody in the dining hall is having a blast right now. I can see Madison. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to think. I can, I'll do one. Um, so one of the Good questions, point. it was, it was kind of broad, but like important, I think it says, what exactly are y'all looking for was the question. And I think it, our like general recruiting process, I think about it in, in kind of three different like stages. Like one, there's a set of boxes we want to check about like big picture, like 
So when it has the academic program you're looking for, it has the social uh, extracurricular opportunities you're looking for, it has the athletic opportunities you're looking for, it's in a place you want to be. And it, it can get you to where you want to go after Solani, because uh, ultimately that's more important. Like you're going to be spending more in time. There's more time in your life is after Solani than at Solani. And so if we can set you up to do the things you want to do afterwards, then that's great. Uh, so that's kind of the first set of boxes. The second set is with the team. If you check the boxes like you're passionate about running or your event, um, you're a good teammate, you want to continue to improve, you want to be at Sewanee, and like, and kind of you, like the, our, that core tandem of philosophies that like I was saying, the co competitiveness and fun, like if you're, if you buy into that, then you're going to have a good time when you're here. And I think if we can check those boxes, then you're going to fit in well with the current team. And I, cause I think that's, we, we've done a good job of, of recruiting, going to pat ourselves on the back at that sense. But I think that team right now is very, um, kind of all in on those, those principles and checking those boxes. And then the third part is then we can talk about like the details of training and like the numbers and PRs and mileage and everything like that. Um, like, yeah, we would like to recruit, like using the five case as an example, like, yeah, it would be great if we had five incoming freshman guys who were running 15 flat for 5k, but if they're jerks and like selfish and not in it for the team, it's going to be a miserable experience because it's not going to be fun at practice. It's like whatever success that would bring was, will not last if people will get burnt out and stay, like it will be stale. But if we had like, for example, five 18 minute flat guys, but they're all in on all those principles, they check those boxes, they're great teammates and it's fun at practice. And like, it's a, something that's worth their time that team is going to be much more of a like that environment is much more conducive to getting better, enjoying your time and putting in more work because it's because you feel it's worth your time. And so does everybody You kind of are empowered by knowing that. Um, and so that's kind of what we're looking for in a big picture sense is that we can, that Sewanee is the right place for you before you start talking about athletics. And then when we talk about athletics, it's, you're passionate about your event you want to continue to get better and be competitive you're you are want to be a good teammate are a good teammate good person and uh like swanee is the place for you and if we can check those boxes we're we're gonna have a, a fun time and get we're gonna get a lot better and have a fun time doing it so i don't want to spend a whole lot of time i want you guys to get a chance to talk to the kids that are on the team so I think what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to sign off. Patrick, you are now in charge. You are the host. So I guess I didn't ask you, but you're now the host, Patrick. Um, if anybody he looks, power. he does. Um, in the chat, I put a link to two different PDFs. Um, one is Sewanee by the numbers. So it answers a ton of questions. Um, academic profile. Uh, where, where kids are from, kind of all of that information along the way. Um, the second one is an international kind of Sewanee overview, but it goes into a lot of information that's pertinent even to just all of the traditional students who come regardless of where you're from. Uh, goes into a little bit of you know what, what, what majors we offer, um, road scholars, you know, a little bit of information about of a lot of different things. So I'm going to sign off of here. Um, what I want everybody to do, hi, Brianna. Um, she actually, somebody used the chat, um, is I'm going to let the students go through and kind of introduce yourselves that are on the team. Um, any seniors that are here that may have already paid their deposit, you guys can go ahead and introduce yourselves too. Um, and then however you guys want to deal with breaking it up, I will tell all of the juniors, all of your families, all of the seniors, don't be shy. Um, unmute yourselves, ask questions. That's what they're here for. They're taking time. They want to make sure that they can answer any of your questions along the way. And uh, before I hop off of here, I will just real quick shout out Juliet. Uh, I know you had a lot of questions about throws specifically. I can set up another meeting with you and we can kind of get right into the nitty gritty about some of the throw stuff. So I will shoot you an email. As soon as I sign off, we can set up a meeting 
even right after this, if you'd like, um, and kind of go from there. So without anything else, I am going to hop off. Thanks so much for everybody for hopping on. Uh, I'm stoked to see how many people are here. All right. I will see you all later. Thank you so much. I'm also getting off. It was great <laughs> seeing everybody on the call. Love the turnout. Um, I'll see y'all later. Cool. I guess I'm in charge now. Just great. I don't know how to make breakout rooms. Oh, never mind. It showed up. I have all these controls. Um, so we can make breakout rooms by, I guess, long distance and then short distance track just to streamline everything. Um, let's see, two. I guess breakout room one, if you're more long distance oriented, um, breakout room two, if you're more short distance, um, I'll create them. It says you should be able to choose them. Is that right? Is it working? Yes, awesome. People are going there, so I'm gonna assume it's working. Wait, Patrick, I don't know what room to go in. Breakout. Yep, somebody got him. Just yeah, which, which one's which? Yeah. They got it figured yeah. out. Sorry, I just hopped on to make sure the breakout rooms worked. So I'm yeah, hopping so back off. Um, Janie, whichever you want. I don't understand. Like, like one, if you're long distance. And two, oh, I'm, I'm, oh, okay. I didn't know. Okay, I'm going. Yeah. I might be stupid, but how do you get to the breakout room? I think. I've like sent it out. You should be able to choose. Um, I can also just send you to one directly if you tell me which you are. Can I, I go to one? To one? Yeah. Right. Caroline, sign to one. Thank you. Yep. Patrick, I can't figure it out. So can you send me to breakout group one? Yep, Janie. Yeah. Can you please send me to breakout room one too? Who was it? Rob Sullivan. Okay. Can you send Thank me you. To whichever one is the short distance one? Yeah. Um, David. Okay. Ian, I'm sending you to one. Could you send me to number two? Uh-huh. Thank uh -huh. you. Could you send me to number one, please? Yeah. Ellen. That work? Um, can you send me to the first one? That was the distance, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. And then, okay. How do I go to the breakout room? Hello? Can you send me to the Um, hold on, I can't. Oh, breakout. Which breakout room? Okay, I'll send you the short one. Yeah. That should work. Now how do we
Whoops. 